All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I know I look like mystical today. Uh, got my hair done. I usually do it myself, but she got me looking like mystical, so I got to pull my hair in the front. So I look kind of goofy. Anyway, uh, today I want to talk about the exploitation of the black man in America and, and throughout the world, I should say. But I'm just going to say America. And I want to speak on something that uh, Maxine Waters said about black men. And something that Joy Reid called, uh, she called Clarence Thomas, Uncle Thomas. And it's a bunch of different black women liberal black women or, or black women that's on the left or or black women that's d democrats who constantly talk down on black men and i need to understand this so let's get into it but before i get into that make sure you like share subscribe to the page hit the thumbs up if you like the content hit the thumbs down if you don't you know what it is man but all right so link in the description if you want to donate to all right, so uh, Maxine Waters, California senator or whatever she is, I can't remember off the top. And sorry, you know, I'm, I'm usually on point, but today, uh, what's the name? But I just know, I just know that she's been in office for <clears throat> since 1991, and she's been there for years and years and years and she says something the other day about black men and i'm gonna play it for y'all and i'll come back and let's go. Somehow, if they are going to support trump, trump that they're going to realize some big sums of money that's going to come to them through yeah. some damn proposals that they're going to present and they're going to be taken care of and they're going to be able to manage all of this money they are crazy. They're not going to get a dime from these people. They don't even know how to put together the right kind of proposals to even be considered uh, in this way that government works and how you have to get through the House and the Senate and all of these committees, even in order to get to the president to sign something, and he's not going to sign a darn thing to them. He's a racist. He does not have any appreciation for black people and black women in particular. He's talked about us so bad. He talked about John Lewis so bad. He talked about coming so bad. He has no respect for us. He's not doing anything for us. And for those black young men who think somehow they can align themselves with Trump, Trump, not only are they terribly mistaken, any of them showing their face, I will never, ever forgive them for undermining the possibility to help their own people and their own communities. It is absolutely unconscionable. It is shame. All right, man. This is what I mean by black women in America, a majority of black women in America, a majority of, of people in America use the black man as a way to make money as a as a talking point as uh someone to blame as someone to kill as someone to shoot as someone to target i think that the black man is centered around a lot of a lot of things that's going on in america from athletes to celebrities to uh you know certain athletes being underpaid certain athletes being overpaid certain athletes uh, I mean certain celebrities doing things that they normally shouldn't do certain celebrities not doing things that they they should have did i believe that the black man in america the just the normal black man in america is being used as this type of shield or pawn or any type of exploitation. It doesn't matter if it's a shield. It don't matter if it's for good or bad. 
I think that they put black men at the forefront of a lot of things and a lot of issues and a lot of problems. And if you look at a lot of uh, throughout history, a lot of our black, the black leaders got killed. And now you have a lot of black leaders who are who claim that they're black leaders, but they're really not. They're black manipulators, to, in my opinion. And they don't stand for the black man because they don't call out people like Maxine Waters for saying what she said about black men. Now, somebody like, let's just use him as an example. I'm not <clears throat> trying to talk down on a man, but I want to say something. Let's just use Al Sharpton as an example. Al Sharpton is a black man in America. And I haven't seen him say anything about what, uh, what your girl said. Maxine Waters said he could have said something about it. I also <clears throat> don't, I also don't see him saying anything about what Joy Reid said about Clarence Thomas, calling him Uncle Thomas. And let's just be clear here. And this is what, this is what makes me mad. Now I'm not, I'm not the smartest person in the world. Never claim to be. I ain't the sharpest person in the world. Never claim to be. And I know some things and I know a couple of different things. I know that calling somebody Uncle Clarence is really a term that's called somebody Uncle Tom, right? See, this is what I mean by a lot of these journalists who really don't know anything. If you knew the history of Uncle Tom, then you wouldn't have called him Uncle Tom. <laughs> that's what I'm, You wouldn't have called him Uncle Clarence. If you know the history of that, you wouldn't have called him that. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why you're using that is because Malcolm X used it. And Malcolm X even used it wrongly. You know what I'm saying? He used it wrongly. I I hate to tell y'all that, but he did. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't really know. But a lot of people are a lot of people call people Uncle Toms. A lot of black men call Uncle Toms or Coons or or uh uh whatever you want to call it, but it really the really one that you should be calling them is Sambo. And I, I'm gonna put it to you like this. I don't believe that you should be calling any black man anything that disagree with you. That's just the bottom line. I mean, I'm sure I, I disagree with a lot of black men. I disagree with a lot of things that Al Sharpton say, but I wouldn't get out here and say, oh, he's a coon or he, he does things. He does things to 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 uh, uh, to uh, make him look like a nigga or something like, no, I don't do all that because I think everybody should have their own opinion. See the problem with the problem with people like Maxine Waters and people like Joy Reid and and a couple of other people who constantly talk down on black men. A lot of you fem these black female activists slash journalists slash politicians who really don't respect the black man. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Kamala. She did a lot of lot of damage and things to black men. They don't really respect the black man because they look at it like their mothers were hurt by black men. And their mothers' mothers were hurt by black men. And black men to them are savages. That's just the way it is. To me, you can't convince me that Maxine Waters do not look at young black men as savages. She's 80 something years old. There's no way in the world you can tell me that. She has a head on her shoulders where she totally believe that black men in America is upstanding for the most part. You know what I'm saying? If you are, if you're not, if you're not a celebrity or a, a successful black man in America, most likely to Maxine Waters, you are a savage. That's just the, the bottom line, because the because the way she put that, what she put in the way she put it, and what she said, she singled out black men, and then single out, and she singled out black women. So she separated. And that's another thing that I noticed. They's trying to separate black men and saying that black men is the cause of a lot of things. So let's just say, like, still, we still we still waiting for the results of the election, the election. And let's just say, for example, uh, Trump wins. They have somebody to blame it on. Because they're not going to go after the, the Latinos. They're not. They're not going to. There's too many of them. They're not going to go. After, but they can go after the black man. And what they're going to say is the conserve the conservative black man or a black man that think for himself that doesn't think uh um how would I say doesn't think on a uh 
a Democrat controlled plantation or whatever you want to call it. Anybody that thinks for themselves, they're going to say that they're traitors. They're race traitors. That's what they're going to say. But see, we live in the United States of America and everybody's always talking about uh, the right or whatever. Now, let's, let me just be honest. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Republican at all. I'm not a Democrat at all either. But I understand when people say there's a lot of division in this country, I'm just going to be straight honest with y'all. The division is coming from the left. That's just and that's me being unbiased. The, 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 the division in this country is coming from the left because you don't hear nobody from the right talking about. Now, maybe if you want to type in the comments, oh, well, they put this in a the place, they put that in a place. We can have an argument on that. But at face value of what you see, most people don't go look up stuff. But when you tell me that I'm a race traitor because I vote for another party, and you can't give me a legitimate reason, you are the person who's causing the fire. And a lot of these, these, every, every, every one of these black liberals or activists, they always call names. Every one of them. You, they can't have a conversation without insulting, per, insulting a black man. They can't. They cannot have a conversation without talking down on a black man from Don Lemon to Joy Reid to every one of these black people who are liberals or who are activists, who are journalists slash activists out here. They cannot have a conversation about somebody doing something from the opposite side and not insulting them. I can name to you plenty of people on the other side who don't insult people for voting for Joe Biden or for, for being a, a, a liberal. But I can guarantee you, if you go look it up, if you go look it up, or if you just watch the news, it's it's so cavalier, you probably don't even peep it. But most of them, they do it. That's what they do. So people like Maxine Waters, when she says things that she say, when the boy Joe Collins was running against her, he... The dude Joe Collins and I, and I know that was a kind of a a, a, a a shot at him, but he served this country. He did things that uh that every man should do. He's successful, but yet and still, she got a lot to say about black men. She couldn't just say because there's some black women that voted for Trump. There's some black cons black women that are conservatives. So, but you, what you do is you, you take the safe route because it's easy for a black woman or a white liberal or anybody to pick on a black man that votes the other way. It's easy because nobody's going to care. I can guarantee y'all, if y'all found out, if they found out Black Lives Matter or, or any of these organizations found out that George Floyd was, was a Republican or he supported Donald Trump, they wouldn't have had cared. If they found out that Jacob Blake, the dude that got shot, supported Donald Trump or whoever, or was, was a Republican, they wouldn't have cared. They wouldn't have said nothing. Because you know why? I can tell you that that's, a, that's facts. Number one, most of these people see that black men who on the other side get killed and they don't say anything. They're black too. Why haven't they said anything about the black, about the uh, retired black cop that got killed, that was protecting his store? Why y'all haven't said nothing about him? You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of people that got killed, but y'all don't say nothing about that. Y'all don't. And they want you to, they want you to believe that there's this, if there is this illusion of, of uh, the black man being upheld in this country. And it's not the truth. It's not the truth. And it's, it's not coming from, it's coming from both sides, but the mo but the main side that it's really coming from, it's coming from the left and a lot of black women, a lot of black women and a lot of black women in power and a lot of black women who have a voice. They all they do is talk about black men. Now, again, if you're successful, they don't say too much. Or if you have a little bit of power, they don't say too much. They don't. They're not going to say anything, uh, nothing bad about Barack Obama. 
They're not going to say nothing bad about him. They're not going to say nothing bad about a bunch of black men who are in power. Now, Clarence, Tom, uh, Clarence Thomas is a little bit different because he's a black man, but he was a Republican. And on top of that, he's a Supreme Court justice and he's a conservative. So they're not going to say anything about him, but they're going to say a lot about him because he goes against their core values. But you can say something about somebody, but not insult them. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Black liberals and white liberals, they can't have a conversation with you without trying to trying to demonize you or make you look like you're the bad guy or insult you. It's like, what, what's all that for? Joy Reid, what's all that for? Why? Why? Why do you have to talk? Why do you have to uh, uh, name call? If, if, if he said, if he had called you a, 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 a nappy headed whore or a nappy headed hoe or something like that, or if somebody said, oh, uh, anything about uh, about Kamala, y'all would have a fit. Y'all would have a fit. Oh, he's man shaming. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe it. But yet and still, y'all have so much to say about black men. Y'all have so much to say about the normal black man in America. So much. And it's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Even with the whole, uh, 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 they not skin folk, or they not kin folk, they skin folk. Stuff like that, you'll never hear a black woman talk about another black woman that way, except if it's Candace Owens. And a lot of them are scared of her. They don't really say too much about her. They stay away from her because she constantly asks these black women, these black liberals, or even these white liberals, she asks them for debates and they say no. They say no because a lot of them don't know nothing. And they, they know that when you run it, listen, let me explain something to y'all. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Muslim. I am pro-life, but I'm not that. I'm not none of that. Most of these people that are telling you, now, I, again, again, I'm not a Muslim and I'm not a Christian. I'm not none of that. But I know certain things. You cannot tell me that if you kill your baby, you still can believe in Jesus or Allah. I'm sorry. People might look at me crazy, but it's the truth. If you are a woman out here who, and, 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 and let's just be clear, there's a grander conspiracy going on. It's been going on. And I think that a lot of people are starting to see it, but a lot of people are afraid to say it because it's a luxury now to get an abortion. It's a, it's a luxury. And I think a lot of people, they look at it like, well, I have an option. And not that I have an option as in I have an option and I'm either I'm going to die or, or I'm going to uh, deliver this baby. No, I have an option. If I, if I, if I mess up three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, I can still do, I can still get an abortion. That's nuts. If I want to, if I want to um, get 10 abortions, I can because it's my body. But the whole argument with that is it always, they never talk about how it affects the black man or the father. What about me? What if I want my baby? So you're telling, you're basically telling me that a child, you know what? I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to do a separate video for that. I'm going to stop right there. Anyway, Maxine Waters, you're a goof. Straight up. You're a goof for saying what you said. I really believe that you should apologize to black men for that. Because just because somebody disagreed with you don't mean that we're a race traitor and we don't listen to you. We just want something different. You in, you've been in you've been in office all that time, and all as I all, every when I look up where where you your con, con, um, congressional district and what you do and what you didn't do and how you a millionaire, and you sitting here trying to tell somebody how uh they they're race traitors and and um they should never be forgiven and all this stuff, but yet and still you haven't done nothing for black people, nothing. What have you done for your for where you live? You haven't done anything. It looks horrible out there. And you live on living high up on the hog. 
But yet and still, you got a lot to say about black men, but you haven't done nothing. Whether you said, oh, they don't understand. You know, she said, they don't understand. They think they're going to get all this sum of money from Trump. Well, okay. So where are you, where are you getting all this sum of money? And how come you're not helping black men? If you're saying that they think they're going to get all this sum of money from Trump, how come you're not giving all these, these same black men all this sum of money? Why you ain't saying nothing about them? You should have said, Hey, listen, I can show y'all how to get this money, black man. Why do, why do you don't need to go to that side, but no, you ain't do that. Because you're selfish and you get up here and you say all these things about black men and it's disgusting. All y'all black liberal wet, um, black women got a lot to say about black men because maybe your fathers wasn't there. Maybe your fathers was was a totally different type of man. Who knows? But I do know that you can't talk about me having a difference of an opinion and you can't talk about a lot of black men that have a difference of an opinion. We just don't believe what y'all believe with that what y'all showing us anymore. Y'all been y'all been saying the same stupid rhetoric for years and look at all the cities they're still terrible but you expect me to still believe what you're saying how how do i still how do i still supposed to believe what you're telling me when y'all when everything that y'all been saying for years ain't come to fruition not, not one time it's still terrible all the cities are still terrible they still look horrible but yet and still you're telling me to stick stick with you for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, and the cities are still terrible. I'm not sticking with y'all no more. I'm out of there. Because there ain't no way in the world you're gonna sit here and tell me that every every single time you I vote for a Democrat, they tell us, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna give you this, we're gonna give you that, we're gonna help you with this, and y'all don't do none of it. Y'all give us, y'all give us, uh, uh, I don't smoke weed, but y'all give us weed. Like, who gives a fuck about that? Who cares about that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you getting the people that y'all believe care about it. But what about the people who don't care about it? What about what about people who don't smoke weed? We want other things. What about trying to really get the taxes lowered? What about that? Instead of telling us one thing and doing something different. That's what they do. That's what they do. I, I the, the evidence is right there in your face. If you don't see it, that's on you. You live in, if you live in any part where it's predominantly black, if it's a, a neighborhood, most of those black people, they vote for the Democrats and those same Democrats always take their vote and take their donations and keep and don't do nothing. They don't do nothing. But yet and still you mad at me because I want to have a difference of an opinion. You haven't done nothing for me. You haven't. You haven't done what you said you was going to do. So it is what it is, man. Either way, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. It's disgusting what a lot of these black, these black uh, liberal women are saying about black men, and they know. And the only reason why they say it because they know they can get away with it, and nobody's gonna check them on it. I wish, I wish that I was in mainstream media. I really do, because I would check a lot of these women, and I would check them. They would, they would get, they would get me out of here fast because I'm telling you, I'll be canceled quick. Because I check, I would check a lot of them. They should be checked. People like Joy Reid should be checked. She should be checked, period. You saying stuff like that? People like Maxine Waters should be checked. Like, I don't understand how how these 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 so-called black leaders on the on the left side don't check her. I said, wait a minute. Why are you calling that man an Uncle Tom? Like, what what does that mean? They be they need to be checked. Like for real. But y'all scared to check them because y'all scared that they got it to the point where. You're going to get canceled. I don't see none of these these black celebrities jumping out the window for all black people. They're not. They're only jumping out the window for certain black people or when it supports the agenda or the narrative. If it don't support none of that, they do not care about the black man. If that doesn't support their narrative, they don't care if you black. They don't. Let's just be clear. They do not care if you black if you don't support their narrative they clearly say it these black liberal women they clearly say it clearly you can look it up they'll tell you if the black man conservative black man or somebody that believes in something different from them gets shot in the street they will not say nothing about it they won't report it they'll even probably go as far in their head as probably saying good for them 
That's what they would do. I'm telling you. So it is what it is. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is, man.